Time to up the pressure for this run. Let's see. We've got Slime Boss at the end of the act. Slime Boss versus Pressure Points is a bit interesting. I think in general we're pretty good at elite, at elite fighting. Most enemies, barring maybe the three sentries, are pretty easy to beat with the current setup here. <clears throat> we could go three elites or we could go more upgrades. I do kind of like more elites. I guess I should remove Eruption, huh? I guess so. All right, we'll do that. Hilarious. Oh, I can do three elites and the burning elite. Okay, that's even better. So upon playing pressure points, we increase the stacks of, it's called Mark, on the enemy that we hit. <clears throat> And then we deal damage to all enemies equal to the amount of mark that they have. Ooh. Free strike dummy. Wait, that does nothing. Dang it. Nope. So we can do 8, 16, 24 on turn 1. That's pretty good. <clears throat> hmm. I guess empty body is fine. We do want some blocks. Fasting doesn't work with uh, pressure points. Do I take a protect? I don't think so. I'm not going to pay 50 for one anyway. Seems absurd. It's like Rampage and Claw in one card. Sort of. Yoink. <laughs> Do I even want more of them? Probably not, but we're going to take them. We are going to take him. Claw page. Well, we know three pressure points is only 48 damage, so it's not good enough here. One short of a kill there. Third eye is good block. Decent upfront block plus uh, scry, helping us sift through the draw pile. Thankfully, it's not sentries. Hiya. Boom. Max health gremlin knob dies, no problem. Drops his horn, gives us a fire potion. There's a free protect. I'll take the free one. Free is fine. Two cards for 20 health. Let's do it. We get our first upgraded pressure points. Good work. We get a frozen egg, upgrading all powers that we would would, would yeah, all powers that we would receive from here on out. Time to wake up. Note how the damage ignores block. That's pretty cool. Dead. Alpha. That's a fun damage compliment to pressure points. Shuffle a beta into the draw pile, then omega. Doing 50 damage to all enemies every turn. How's it going, Crypto? Thank you, thank you. I think we skipped, though. Yeah, I feel like it's bait. I don't think we need it with all these pressure points. Let's just upgrade the pressure. Slime goop, sure, sure. Who needs hit points anyway? Not us.
get poked, sir. Mummified hand. Ooh, we got the power synergy again. No powers, though. Yeah. I guess stance potion is bad. <laughs> That's weird. Stance potion is bad. All right. Why not? Kaboom. You think you do better. Perfect. GG. Hmm. Astro Reality. And I'm not making any cards during combat, though. So this does nothing. We've already skipped an alpha. This does nothing either. Skip? Realistically, it is the, the right answer here. One of my main complaints with pressure points is that it doesn't really synergize with any of the, any of the other cards that the Watcher has. Accordingly, with a pressure points deck, there's pretty much nothing that we want to add to the deck because nothing synergizes. Oh well. Yeah, I guess Master Reality is just a, a free mummy hand activation. So what if I'm no longer upgrading cards? I don't think I want to do that. Is it ever Tiny House? Seems dubious. Is it ever Ectoplasm? Seems fine? Seems fine. That means we can no longer earn any money. But when has that ever stopped us? We can do way more damage on turn one with the additional energy. Way more. Ooh, fairy. Like fairy. Peace pipe. That would have been good if I'd taken the uh, hammer. Or would it, though? Maybe not. Sadistic nature. <laughs> All right. That is sufficiently hilarious that I will take it. Never had that combo before, so I, I rather like it. <laughs> That's great. And so is Inner Peace, which could be either card draw or stance change, depending on the current situation. Get him. The power. This one says plus. That said, Wave of the Hand Sadistic Nature is hilarious if you can get them to work. We don't really have the stuff, though. Not that many instances of block. And this has a plus on it. I'll take the pressure points. Fight. Grab them. Or don't. Make them weak on turn one is what we'll do. Meh. Who's next? Gremlin leader. Rather like it, actually. 
Let's see, what's on top here? Sadistic nature. Cute. Thank you for not attacking me. Glorious. Empty body? Don't think so. I think I keep the fire potion over a swift potion. Kill a slaver or something. Alper really wants us to pick it, huh? Not today. Remove a card or upgrade all strikes and defends. Thing is, I don't have a whole lot to remove. We could lose an unupgraded pressure points. Currently we have 10. 10 seems like the perfect number, really. So I guess I'll upgrade all then. The truth is always simple. Um, yeah. Seems good. This was not the opening hand I wanted, but it is what we got. Well. First time in a while we've taken uh, damage. Not too bad. Not too bad. Meal ticket is here to heal us at shops. Deceive reality is here to be a decent block card. I like decent blocks. Pretty good. Unceasing top. If we end up with no cards in hand, we can draw another card. Wouldn't say that happens all that often, but it definitely happens sometimes. Let's take it. Might be able to use it. Just maybe. Let's upgrade the third eye, then. The gremlins are back. Cade Wu, thanks for the Prime sub and 17 months of support. Now we start each combat in calm. That's going to help a lot with uh, the inner piece. To send a message. That's right. They have to understand that they're just in my way. Nothing more. Perfection. Mental Fortress versus Rushdown. Well, we have no Wrath, but I do have in and out of Calm, and I would love an Empty Mind, so let's take Mental Fortress here. Could be Block, and it also makes a card free when we play it. Protect is finally here to do something. I'll take it too. Not bad. What would I say about a teardrop locket, but it was for wrath? Sounds kind of spooky. 
Definitely could backfire, right? This is pretty good with the top. Let's take it. Flip a coin. Bronze Automaton has artifact. Slight obstacle, but only slight. We get to do more with the unceasing top here. Perfect. gonna go for the middle one. Seems easy enough. GG. It's back. He stole Ascender's Bane, not the Ascender's Bane. <laughs> Anything but that. Uh, we don't want to curse with the unceasing top. Lotus is pretty good, though. More energy upon leaving calm, which we do sometimes. Would be good with all the alphas we skipped. True. It works with uh, Deceive Reality, at least. Technically. Actually. Uh, do I need upgrades? I don't think so. No, we don't. What cards do we still need? We'd like a way to block the heart. Which is uh, easier said than done. Like water could help with that. Oops. Like water, mental fortress. A few good ones. May I say? Who needs it? Dude. Okay, third eye plus is pretty good. Rush down does nothing. Madness is actually good. Let's find out. They might be. Sometimes they aren't.
I feel like 10 is the perfect number of pressure points, though. Adding more does not make the deck better, that's for sure. Skip it. Need more exits for Tranquility to be good. Still hoping for a uh, empty mind. It's not about making the deck better. Well, it needs to be right now. <laughs> Currently, it needs to be. Else we are not getting very far. Oops. Another mental fortress, the rushdown. Hmm. It'd be a lot easier if I was doing wrath things. Oh well. Now we must fight the Reptomancer, who really ought not to be that hard. Thanks to the Gremlin Horn. Wonderful. Entropic Brew could be good. Attacks or not. Rest site or not rest site? I think not rest site. We're currently looking for card draw and block cards and stance change cards. So let's not uh, let's not avoid potential improvements. that might happen. Thankfully, we can make it work. Cool. There's like water. If we're in calm at the end of the turn, get seven block. That's perfect. It's exactly what we want. Gotta take the blue key over the hourglass. And how do we do against Giant Head? Hopefully pretty well. Don't forget the top. says. Hmm. A less good hand. Looks like it won't matter, though.
Nice. Calipers. Now we can retain block, rewarding us for making even more of it. Meditate can get cards back into our hand in addition to re-entering Calm. I think that's pretty powerful, although with Unceasing Top, it does have some anti-synergies, potentially. Lose my only attack. Now we can lose Protect. Second copy of Lykewater. With Calipers. Blind would have been pretty good, too. So that we have Weaken. I think I want worship. No. No Repto rematch? What a shame. On the bone. All right, I don't know if we got enough for the late game, but I guess we'll see. I'm gonna do our best here. Ever correct to start taking Wrath just for stance change? It might have been. Definitely might have been. Those are pretty good cards. Take one. Does the mark damage get reduced by intangible? Yes. Yes, it does. Yeah, against Nemesis, it does. Calipers are good here. Two more pressure points, and Donu is gone. Nice. Great fight. 
No relics to set up. Nice. GG. Next up is the Awakened One. We don't have to play our powers like the Metal Fortress, although if we want to use the Unceasing Top, yes we do. Yes we do. Okay, we have three pressure points now. Which I guess is going back into my hand. Ow. Some of these, though. Yikes. Big yikes. Help. Empty body. Although, no, this is fine. Ooh, this way. Yeah. Oh, this turn is not so bad. Pull the block. Good. Pay seven. Thanks for the prime sub. Welcome to the cozy sub club. Oh. Boy, that is not enough block. Terrifying. We have to kill it, and we have to kill it fast. Looks like I'm doing it. All right, good talk. I do live, right? Yeah. Um, let's play this for safety. That car. I see. We're on to Act 4. The pressure is mounting. A deep pulsing dread can be felt throughout the room. Is this the heart of the spire, the source of this evil? You prime your stick. Deal in 2655. The good year. We get healed to full via the meal ticket so I can upgrade a card, which will be, I guess, Madness? Save me one energy on one turn? Sure. You can buy another like water, which is actually pretty hype. Sure. Now we have three of them. I like it. Seems hard to kill the spear next turn, but killing shield by turn three is very easy. Let's do that. Since I ignore the block and all that. Oof. Ouch. At least meat on the bone is here. Thank goodness for that, if nothing else. It's not even a kill. Oh no. 
terrible. Too short. Only do take eight, though. That part's nice. Would strongly prefer to keep the uh, fairy here. Okay, we're out of this fight, but we are badly injured. Doesn't bode all that well for the heart fight. We get a dead branch again. Although very few of our cards exhaust, I will take it. Because I could use all the help I can get right now. Good luck to us. Oh, nice draw. Three pressure points. I like it. And take one beat to go deceive and the free pressure points. Multi hit first. Can we survive this hit? Is one of the big questions. Looks like maybe barely. Just being able to barely survive is good because then we can use the fairy next turn. This is completely neutral, so it's free. In terms of block, that is. Hmm. Omniscience can double anything in the draw pile. Notably, one of the like waters would be a good target. That would be block positive, too. Yeah, either the mummy hand or the madness can make it free. I think we like water first. It hits pressure points, we just play madness. Omni like water. Now I can play these too. Cute. And I have enough spare health, we can play both of these as well. Good. I think that's what we needed. We don't die to this hit, that's pretty much the important thing. Thank you, fairy. Swift pot, forge pot. It's a pretty good forge pot. Should not have done that. My smartest move. Definitely have to stay alive. That part seems hard. It's 60 damage incoming. Empty body vigilance next turn is huge, though. 
That'll be enough block to stay alive for quite a while, as long as I can live through this turn. Yes. Then I can play this too. For 95 damage. Wonderful. The blockening. GG. Mr. Hart. GG. If you enjoyed that video, watch this one next, and don't forget to follow on Twitch to watch the content live. Click the link in the description below.